Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my favorites from the month of September, everything that I've loved. Um, mostly everything that I'll be talking about is beauty and skincare related, that type of stuff. So if you're not into that, you don't have to watch. If you are, you, you know, keep going. And I'm also going to be giving you guys a little update on me and my life and what's going on with the channel. If you want to stay tuned to the updates, keep watching. If you want to just go ahead and skip to my favorites, I will leave the time you can fast forward to somewhere below in this area. So you can go ahead and click forward to that. And if you're still watching, then go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. It will be greatly appreciated. So let's just... So I know lately I have been sort of kind of absent on YouTube and I, first off I just want to say I'm sorry. Um, I know it's been really inconvenient. I know I have a history of like, you know, consecutively doing really, really well for a couple weeks and then dropping off for like a month and coming back and then doing it all over again. There's really no excuse, but honestly I just have not been feeling comfortable sitting down here and I know I've said it before. But my anxiety has really been messing with me and it's crazy because I used to never have anxiety issues at all. And somewhere around, I think December of last year, my anxiety issues went crazy. Like they just like exponentially grew. Like I was having panic attacks and all types of crazy stuff like that. All of a sudden everything was bothering me and I couldn't focus and it was hard for me to do things that I was usually comfortable with. And that's basically just been what I've been going through lately, unfortunately. And my anxiety with like not feeling comfortable with what I'm doing or not feeling happy has just gotten so much worse. And a month and a half ago, I went through a serious bout of anxiety when it came to recording um, because I was like in this really sad place because I didn't know how I was going to handle all the responsibilities that was going to come with going to college and stuff like that and, you know, really taking care of my own things. And I sort of kind of became really reclusive into myself and it was hard for me to sit down and try and be like all chipper and like, oh my gosh, like, hey guys, welcome back because I wasn't feeling it. And I'm the type of person, you know, if you do anything, do it with love, do it with passion, do it with energy, you know, do it with happiness, you know, give your all in 110%. And I was not capable of doing that. And when I would record and then I would, you know, upload the videos to iMovie so I could start editing, I sounded horrible. Like, I, to myself, I was like, dude, like, you sound like crap. Like, you sound like you're going through shit. People are going to tell, people are going to ask. And I just didn't want that. So I decided, you know what? Maybe I should take a break. And for a little while, I was really debating keeping the channel. Um, you know, I was... You know like maybe I should just delete it and like post something on my Instagram you know saying you know I tried I failed blah, blah blah but a part of me was like you know maybe you'll get over this little bout of sadness and whatever you're feeling right now and you know maybe everything will work out which is sort of kind of why we're right here right now because things are sort of kind of working out so um, I just want to say thank you to everyone who continually watches whenever I do get around to posting. You guys make my day. Um, it really means a lot that you guys still support me and are still here and still watching. And um, I just want to say thank you for that. I think a couple weeks ago I posted a back to school type video on my channel. And I said I was going to start a Gabby Goes to School type series. I'm not going to do that anymore. Um, I realized the reason that I was doing that and going in that direction with my YouTube videos was because that's what I saw all my favorite YouTubers doing. Um, a lot of the YouTubers that I follow, I've been watching since they had literally nothing. And to see them just like grow and amass ridiculous amounts of success working with brands that they love, it's really inspired me to work harder and I figured oh like if I did videos like this if I talked about these things I would amass the same amount of following um and things like that 
and Sorry Kinda I was like using their videos as a blueprint and I realized that really wasn't the way to go. One, because I'm not trying to reach the same people that they are slash were trying to reach and we just have different goals and everything doesn't work for everybody which is something that I'm slowly learning and so um, I've decided that I'm just going to post videos that make me happy and post videos that um, I wish I saw when I first discovered YouTube. I want to be that channel for some little girl out there, for some young boy who is going through whatever and just needs like, you know, good, wholesome, quality videos that make them laugh and smile and um, interest them. So I want to focus on being that channel. And so I'm sort of kind of just like going to swing it for now. Um, and. So I gotta figure out my own thing and find my own niche and carve out my own little habitat in this place called YouTube. And I really hope you guys stay along for the ride and I hope you guys enjoyed this. So without further ado, we're gonna get right on into my September favorites of the month. So my September favorites this month are really beauty and skincare oriented. I've really gotten into makeup these last couple of weeks. Um, and I've been like purchasing new things that I've been seeing and things that I wanted to try out. And I want to share what worked for me with you guys. So first thing makeup is the NARS All Day Weightless Luminous Foundation. And this is in medium dark for Macau, which is my color. This foundation is amazing. I've heard so many good reviews from like friends, people I follow on Twitter, my favorite YouTubers are like, oh yeah, this is like my holy grail foundation. I was like, I gotta try this, like I have to try this. So I went out and I got matched at Sephora. Um, and the young lady who helped me, her name was Milan, she was so cute. She told me that for this foundation, it's best to use your fingers to like warm up the product and massage it into your skin. But you guys see my nails. That's not happening. Because mm -hmm. all of them get up and that's nasty. So I've been using um, a mix between a damp beauty blender and a buffing brush. Uh, recently, my Real Technique brushes came in the mail, so I've been using the Real Technique uh, buffing brush, well, expert face brush to buff in my foundation. It like it does not feel like I have on foundation right now, like at all. Like it feels skin like, and it looks skin like, which I really appreciate because I really don't like Moving along, next is uh, my three favorite mascaras at the moment. Um, it is the NYX Stacked Lush Lashes Mascara, and I love this. The brush applicator is super small, so it gets my lower lash line really, really well, and it pulls out my lashes extremely nice. Um, it's good for the top lash line too if you like want to lengthen your lashes a lot which is like my main goal whenever I put on mascara so I'm in love with it next is the MAC mineralized multi-effect lash and charged black and it looks like that and it's super inky so if you like your lashes looking really thick really dark that is the mascara for you um, I use it on my top lashes. It's the first lash. It's the first mascara I put on, and it darkens my lashes so well. Like it thickens them. It makes my lashes look so much bolder and bigger than they actually are, which I really appreciate. And then lastly is the Mac Hot and Naughty Waterproof Lash, which I don't wear every time I wear mascara um, because when you wear waterproof mascara a lot, a lot of times when you're taking your makeup off to pull out your lashes and I love my lashes so I don't want them to go anywhere so I don't wear that a lot but if I have an event or I'm going out to a party or a dinner I'll put that on it really does um, make your lashes um, thicker and it holds 
all of the mascara that you put on on. So I'll put that on last. I wear about like four or five different mascaras because I like um, the texture and the ratio of like thick clumpy lashes. That's just me. And I'll put that MAC mascara on last and it my mascara will go nowhere. I can cry, I can laugh, and tears can come out. I can get hit with cake, everything, like, and nothing will happen to my mascara, and that makes me happy. Next is my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow, and this is in the color Ebony, and I love this. Um, I splurged, quote unquote, and bought this product, I think right after I graduated in June and seriously I think it's one of the best purchases I've made for my brows ever um before I was using the I was using a super dark brown pencil um which was actually an eyeliner pencil and the elf brow kit which I still use I still but like for like my full shape I don't like using it. I don't think there's enough um, color payoff in that product for me to use it how I like my brows all over. But the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow works wonders. And it's one of those products that doesn't budge. Like when you put it on, it's on. I have slept with my brows on, woke up, and my brows were still in an immaculate shape. Like, if I had wanted to go out the next day, all I had to do was probably fill in like towards the front. And I wouldn't have to worry because this whole little part, intact, perfection, wonderful. I love the product. I love everything about Anastasia Beverly Hills. My next purchase, I think, is going to be the Soul Hollywood Illuminator. They like, just came out with like four highlighters and they're freaking gorgeous. And I love gold highlights. Like, I love gold highlights. And so, Soul Hollywood has like this really pretty really champagne undertone and I, I need it in my life. Next is Benefit Professional which is a primer. I only use this on my T-zone and the bridge of my nose. Um, I just like put like a pea-sized dab from between my fingers and then you get this area because my pores are really large right here and so this helps mattify that area so that when I put it on I don't look oily and my pores don't look oily. Next is the Kat Von D um, Liquid Lipstick, Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Aisha. And it's this soft muted lilac that I have on my lips right now. And I love it. Um, anyone who knows me knows I love purple lipstick. I have about four or five. And I plan on getting like every purple lipstick from all my favorite brands. It's like a serious addiction. Purple lips are my favorite thing in the world. And they look really, really great on my complexion. And on my face, just I love it so much. So um, I didn't think that I was going to like this because I've never tried a liquid lipstick before. And it's really cool. Like you put it on like a gloss and you're like, okay. And then give it a couple seconds and you start to feel like your lips like tightening. I guess that's the only way I can explain it. It feels like it's tightening. There's nothing on. Like, it's phenomenal. Um, I want to try Bow and Arrow next, which is like this nudie, like rose pink, I think. Um, so yeah, Kat Von D outdid herself with this, this makeup line, and I'm loving every bit of it, and I want like everything. Next is Fragrance, and this month, or last month <laughs> anyway I've been loving the Daisy Dream by Marc Jacobs Rollerball which I think of that support as well and it has a really like light smell to it it's my favorite thing ever like I feel so classy when I wear it I love it because I'll go places and like be like oh like what is that smell it smells so good and I'm just silent like <laughs> but it smells so good. I love it so much. I'm probably gonna go purchase like the full size bottle very, very soon because I I need more in my life. It's so cute. Uh, next, I have recently really been loving Lush. I have purchased bath bombs and stuff like that from them before, but I've never purchased like face stuff like 
anything like that. But recently I did go and I picked up a couple items. And my first item is the mask of Magnum and Tea. And this is a face and body mask. And it's the self-preserving one, um, which is why it sort of kind of looks a little glossy because uh, the stuff that they put in here to make sure it doesn't spoil um, has risen to the surface. This smells like Thin Mints to me, and Thin Mints are like one of my favorite candies on the whole entire planet. Also, when I was there, I picked up the Tea Tree Toner Tab, which is like this little circular tab, and you put it in hot water, and it steams your pores open. And the cool thing about the toner tabs is that when you're finished with it, you can take the water and put it into a reusable spray bottle and use it as toner for a week, and then you have to pour it out. And lastly is my Ponds Cold Creamer and my Spin Brush Dupe from AliExpress. And the Pond's Cold Creamer is not only a moisturizing deep cleanser, but it's also a makeup remover. So I'll like slather this on after I take my makeup wipes and I get everything off my face. And I will massage the crap out of my face with this spin brush. And it pulls out any residual makeup. Anything left on my face comes out and my face feels so good and so smooth and so clean afterwards. And that's it for this week's favorites. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will try to get back on a regular schedule to keep you guys satiated and everyone happy. So until next time, bye!